And I'll be honest with you. I think, you know, I don't, I can't remember if Sega was one of the companies that was like originally like about all this stuff. And now they're like backtracking on it, but we'll find out in this article. There are a lot of these big companies and there are a lot of big companies that are still about it. Whether, I mean, all of those sides of gaming that became very trendy about a year and a half ago, two years ago, you, all you heard, all you heard in the gaming industry was like metaverse, web three, NFT, blockchain, all that stuff, right? And there were, it was, it was just very, very trendy. And the reason it was trendy for the business side of things. Yeah. 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 I hope so too, friendo. Um, we'll see you a little bit later. Okay. Hopefully. Um, I hope work goes fast. She saw a lot of these big companies that, that, um, all they saw were dollar signs, right? It meant money. And we know, you know, and, and, but a lot of us, a lot of us gaming enthusiasts, um, we saw through this and it's looking like it's finally, you know, a lot of these businesses have finally come to the conclusion that it wasn't going to be what they thought it was going to be. And we've seen a lot of, you know, where people bought into the NFT thing for a while and paid a exorbitant amounts of money for these NFTs, like millions of dollars for these NFTs. And now they're worth basically nothing. You know, I was telling people forever. I was like this NFT stuff. And look, I've even, I said from the get go, it's like, the premise of NFTs as a whole and what they could be, what they could be, blockchaining, NFTs, all that stuff, and what it could be as a mutually beneficial thing for both developers and consumers in the gaming world, there's something there for it. There is something there for it. But we are not far enough along in the evolution of gaming now right now for it to work well in my opinion the way i see it working well is you need these big massive worlds which are being developed now right but you need these worlds that are interconnected like say you got a unique nft which represents a skin uh, or or a vehicle a unique vehicle in in a game right um so this vehicle is uh, attributed to you as, uh, you know, a, a blockchain thing. Uh, it's unique to you. Uh, nobody else can have it. Somehow you got it. It was like a, a reward. Uh, a, you know, you won. You won some kind of raffle. You know what I mean, or something like some giveaway. And there's only one of them. But where where it really comes to fruition i think to being a good thing for both developers and gamers is when you can use that item as an in-game thing you can use it 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 was originally meant to be used in something like i don't know grand theft auto right and so you've got this unique car for grand theft auto and it's a very you know highly sought after thing because there's only one of them right and so other people are willing to pay money for that item, that NFT. And the more rare it is, obviously, the more uh, certain other people will want it, things like that. But the, the real way in which I see these things becoming very, very valuable for gamers is when we have these developers that are willing to mesh their worlds together, right? So you could take that that NFT that you have for Grand Theft Auto's world, right? And it's a car, right? A very highly sought after car. But you can also use that car in other worlds, right? Other gaming universes. So you can take that car out of Grand Theft Auto and use it in Cyberpunk. Or you can take that car out and use it in Need for Speed. You know what I mean? But it takes a lot of collaboration and a lot of meshing of, of universes and worlds to get that premise to work. And we are not even nearly close enough for that to happen. When we are at that point, I think NFTs and blockchain and everything can be a very mutually beneficial thing for both businesses because it'll be, a, a, what it'll be is it'll be a situation where there'll be marketplaces set up, right? And in these marketplaces, the, the developers will get a cut of every transaction for these NFTs from person to person buying and selling, you know, stuff like that's for these highly sought after 
items that can be used in game and stuff like that, whether it be a weapon, uh, it could be just cosmetic stuff for certain weapons. It could be an actual vehicle in a game that can be used in different games and so like whatever. You know what I mean? Um, but we are so far away from that. And all the NFT stuff is right now is just a big scam, you know? And I'm so glad that so many people saw through it 